On today's show, what does the moving of the Holy Spirit look like in the 21st century? Matt and Lori are hosts of Praise the Lord and are famously known for their work in producing music videos, children's programs, and films such as The Omega Code and One Night with the King. This year, Matt and Lori celebrate their 30th wedding anniversary. They have two sons who work beside them as they focus on this amazing ministry. Here to share how God is moving in the world of television, please welcome my dear friends, Matt and Lori Crouch. Lori, welcome, Matt. been wanting to do this for a very long time because I have been on the other end <laughs> for a couple of years on all the shows you guys have interviewed. It's been so much fun. But uh, to talk today, I, I'm, I'm going to dive into a bunch of just big stuff and help me, don't get it wrong, help me correct me if I'm wrong, but okay. you guys as a family, the Crouches, is it 42 years that your mom and dad began to build TBN? Yes, sir. And uh, it, I don't think people, until you gave me tours and I began to get on the inside track and see what God was doing through television, I thought I knew, yeah, it's another big TV station. Uh, but I asked some of the staff to put together stats on you guys, which I've never heard. And so you correct them if I'm wrong. Okay. But uh, to give an understanding to, to those who are watching the audience of what in the world TBN really is, Trinity Broadcasting Network, it is the largest religious television network in the world. TBN is the third largest television network in the U.S., larger than CBS, NBC, ABC. And we have one report that we saw that says it's the fifth largest in the world. Yes, sir. That was Broadcast Magazine. Yeah. Nobody knows that. Like, we, don't, we didn't know that. And then, okay, I'm going to keep going here. It says um, TBN is featured on over, we had 5,000 television stations, but our numbers are incorrect, because if you include cable stations, it's between 30 and 40,000 stations that carry the gospel. And all the programs that you guys vet and get out there, it's 80 satellites. Um, of, they did a poll, and, and help me out with this one, but, of the 250 most viewed Christian programs in the world, 246 of them are on TBN. Yes, sir. You know, uh, that stat right there, Leon, is actually the most important because you can have the biggest broadcast entity or platform in the world, but if nobody cares about what's on that platform, yeah. then you have yeah. nothing. Yeah. This is a beautiful studio concrete, steel, lights, microphones, but unless we're going to declare something that the world needs to hear and a message that needs to hear, that's why we care about Spirit Contemporary. That's why we yeah. care about your ministry. We care about grace as preached through anyone that will tell the world about the amazing grace. We care about hope, uh, you know, as preached like a Joel Osteen. We care about that, and we care about spirit contemporary so you can you know you can have the biggest platform in the world and if nobody cares about your content you don't have anything and so ultimately That's the sad. the messaging of what we talk about is what Lori and I care about and the way we kind of move on from the the stunning statistics of what God did in my parents generation they were the hardware generation we should be and represent the software generation. So, you, you know, when you're born, you don't pick your family, you're just born. Yeah. So, I was just born, <laughs> and, you know, like everyone else, I thank everyone, Canada, you're born, right? Yeah, yeah we're okay, born. all right. <laughs> and so, we, um, we ultimately, the, would, it, would it not be wise if you grew up in the Crouch family to say, if you are walking into this kind of a destiny purpose, what should we say to the world? Mm -hmm. And that's why we're here with you. That's why we care about Spirit Contemporary. And the more that we can get people to understand the realities of what Spirit Contemporary is, all the way Spirit, all the way Contemporary, hardcore at the same 
time. That is, that is messaging that'll change people's lives. You know, I always thought we have a number of great Christian television stations, you know, and you could list them off in, in America. But until uh, I met you guys and you gave me the first tour and you begin to walk through and go, I said, what's that? Oh, that's in Spanish. What's that? That's Russian. You're not only covering the English world. Is it 11? 11 languages. language networks with three more on the way. Three more on the way. Yeah. And you have also networks. 24 hour networks. This isn't just translated or subtitled. Mm -hmm. This is completely unique, specific 24 hour day networks in 11, as we tape this, soon to be 14 networks on around the world. Portuguese, you forgot that one. Portuguese? Right? Si tu quieres. Vamos a ver. Estere Susana, no, no, Pedro. Go ahead. Wow. Can you do that Can you do that in all 11? I can. Here he goes. Oh. <laughs> I speak 21 languages fluently. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you just I'm lied just like that. <laughs> Yeah, actually, totally we kidding. should have started this show about 20 minutes ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it, what, so what really touched me as a pastor, and I, you know, my parents were both pastors, so I grew up in the ministry, and, and we'd always talk about God's going to continue to do great things. They're going to sweep the world. And, and, you know, and I've been a senior pastor now for 20 years, and now 14 years I pastored with them. And, and when you begin to realize the Herculean task mm. of touching the world for Christ, and then you begin to recognize the power of television. And uh, I'll never forget, you know, in the room with you, there was Jeff, you and I, Bob was there. I think both Bobs were there. And, and we just, your dad was questioning me about spirit contemporary. I look back now because sometimes we just, we just do things. Oh, I think, oh, yeah, I'll go and I'll be on Atlanta TV that one time. And we, we almost didn't do some of these things. We almost didn't meet each other, but God was orchestrating it. And, in the meetings that we had with him before he died, I think one of the things that touched me the greatest was sitting up in the boardroom in, in, uh, in L.A. when it was just you, me, and him. And he just said, I think this is going to be the great, next great move of God. Amen. No compromise. Yeah. The power, the gifting, the flow, the healing, the direction, the salvation that's coming. Nothing, no compromise. But it's going to be in the coolest, a relevant, amazing way that every generation is going to appreciate. You put definition to our lives. Mm -hmm. That's what you did. So much like Joseph Prince, we credit for kind of explaining grace. We knew it, yeah. but he kind of framed the language yeah. for us. Joel Osteen, you know, you squeeze Joel and nothing but hope comes out, yeah, you know. He's amazing. And, and but you put definition to the way our lives felt on the inside, hmm. but we just didn't know how to articulate it. So yeah. we, uh, we care deeply about content. We care deeply about spirit contemporary. So when we look at what your dad and your mom have built, you were kind of along whenever I look at old videos of stuff, especially when your dad uh, went to be with Jesus and you had that, the beautiful funeral stuff. You'd see you, different ages, <laughs> behind cameras doing something. You grew up in it and everything that they did. But I love what your analogy is, they put in the hardware. They worked their lives to get this thing around the world, this huge broadcasting phenomenon. Now, what goes on it is yeah, crucial. And, and one of the things that I think that it, it ended up being a defining moment is my parents would not shrink away from the gifts of the Spirit. No. And, and I remember years ago, we, we were on a Praise the Lord program, Lori and I were hosting, and one of, the, one of our guests said, because your parents have honored uh, the, my son and his gifts, I'll honor your son and his gifts. And I remember that mm. it was a defining moment that TBN, my parents, Assembly of God background, uh, were wanting to make sure that the gifts of the Spirit were not squelched. Yes. And so the idea that you came along into our lives and got that, you know, we, we, we referred to my dad as PFC. That was his initials, PFC. And uh, that, that you got PFC time and we got to be together in that is just an amazing thing. So all of the foundation of the TBN partners over the 42 years 
know that my dad loved you, loved Spirit Contemporary, and it felt like a fresh way to frame the power of the Holy Spirit to our generation. You know, when we talked, I hadn't yet met your mom, just the way it worked out. I'd met you guys, I'd met your dad. And I was asking one time, you know, your mom is this amazing woman at the top, leading this thing. What's she gonna think about this? And then the first time I presented it was in Florida. Now when you say mom, you mean mom, right? Did I say it, didn't I say it wrong? You said mom. How do you guys say it? Mom. You're in Canada. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes. My mom, uh, my mom loves you. Yes, she does. But that was a huge part for me was, okay, God, are you doing something here? Like, are you bringing us together? Yeah. Because I wanted to make sure that there, you know, that there was. And then your mom heard, heard well, I, it. I think and, that, that having that blessing of, oh, of the founding fathers yes. on our life and, and what they loved and them saying that at their age means the world to us. Yeah, me you too. You know, that they're yeah. okay and their stamp of approval, you know, and that's not what we live for, but that's very, very important. Yeah. Um, that what they see, their vision for the future, that's very important. And to the, know and the age, age old adage that when mom's not happy, no one's happy. <laughs> it's true. You know, I mean, literally, but she was so impressed and has invited you to try oh, to get right. down to. She wants a church in Florida. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not as cold uh, yeah, as down true. there. But. We're going to take a break. And when we come back, I kind of want to dive into what you just talked about. Okay, now it's time for the software. Sure. What are the messages? And I want to hear what's in you guys' hearts. So I'll be right back with Matt and Lori Crouch. If your vision isn't big enough, he'll diminish your resources so that he'll get the glory. We believe Jesus Christ came to give every person on this planet a chance to live with power, passion, and purpose. Through award-winning, world-class TV programs like this and life-giving resources in Spanish, French, Italian, Russian, and Hindi, Spirit Contemporary is changing lives around the world. Considerable expenses are involved, but each person reached is absolutely worth the cost. People are saved, their faith revived, eternities transformed, all because of your support. With your donation today, you will receive today's special resource. Just because we follow Jesus doesn't mean the next generation will. We can't assume that they will tag along. Actually, it is possible for one generation to be responsible for losing the next. Joshua was a great leader, but Judges 2.10 says that after Joshua's generation passed away, the next generation didn't know God or what He had done for them. In fact, verse 12 says that they abandoned God and worshiped the gods of the people around them. Despite the significant things Joshua's generation did for God, they failed to bring the next generation with them. How could these mighty warriors let an entire generation get so far off track? I don't know for sure, but I wonder if Joshua's generation assumed that the next generation would just follow suit. I wonder if they didn't think they had to make an effort to pass on their sense of adventure and passion for God to their kids. That's the mistake we're making today. We have to go after the next generation on purpose, not make church comfortable for us and hope they come along for the ride. The next generation should be able to stand on the shoulders of the previous, so it's our job to equip them, encourage them, lift them up, and spur them on. It's not too late. We can share what Jesus has done for us in living color and with emotion. We can share stories with the kids and teens in our world about the power of God. Let's include them in our plans and get them excited about their future with God. Before entering full-time ministry, in his career as an emergency rescue worker, Leon Fontaine witnessed the pain and injustice of this world. As the son of a pastor, he struggled with these experiences, frustrated with how irrelevant the church seemed in this broken world. 
Leon and his wife Sally began a journey to bridge the disconnect between religion and the hurting world. This journey has been nothing short of miraculous. Motivated to take Holy Spirit's power beyond the four walls of the church, they created a church culture that came to be known as Spirit Contemporary. And for two decades, the Spirit Contemporary message has begun sweeping the globe. If you're tired of empty or showy religion, Spirit Contemporary is a breath of fresh air. It's real people in the real world. It's relevant teaching that connects us to Holy Spirit's awesome power. Jesus calls us as Christians to not only make a difference in our world, but to make our world different. Spirit Contemporary will change your world. Welcome back. My guests today are Matt and Lori Crouch, and we are looking at TBN from an angle maybe you've never heard it before, what's going on in you guys' hearts. And I mean, your dad went to be with Jesus, and, uh, and you, have, you must have this overwhelming sense of this only God could do, you know, for your mom and dad, what's done. Mm -hmm. And now, where are we going with this? I would love to get a sense. I mean, you must sense, Lori, that it's kind of like bigger than anything you ever thought, dreamed, asked. Yeah. Do you no. ever get worried or scared sometimes? You know, I don't because I know it belongs to God. Now, if we mm. were going to take the credit, we're going to have to take the responsibility. The respons oh, that's well, good. we're going to take the responsibility, but you're also responsible for the failure. <laughs> Failed, so I don't want any of that. So if it all belongs to God, um, the responsibility weighs weighs heavy, I'm sure at times, um, I know at times, but um, you know, it's fa I am a witness of what God has done around the world and I still, I, we travel the world, we've got studios in 40 or 50 different countries, um, you know, and to see that and to, s only God can do that and to see the people that, well, you're, you're from Canada and God placed inside of you a, a desire to spread the word of God through television. Yeah. So if it weren't for you, you know, okay, multiply all of us a hundred times around the world. You know, there's, there's so many people and so many amazing people that, that God, you know, called to Brazil and to uh, South America and these different countries that speak the language that God put inside of them a seed to start Christian television. And what Trinity Broadcasting and Papa did was just seed into those countries, you know, the, the equipment. Okay, you, you guys, you know, you've got a, a license there? Absolutely, TBN and our partners will, will help you with the equipment. Now we travel to those places and, and those aren't just seeds anymore. Those are massive entities and massive oak trees, you know, spreading the gospel wow. in their own languages around the world. And that's fast. That's just amazing to me. You know, uh, we embarked on a project uh, in 2012 and 13, and we wanted to memorialize as good as we could in a 200 page book uh, called The Call. 40 years of God's miracles. So we wanted to basically tell the story of TBN. And that's a challenge. How do you tell the story of TBN? So one of the things that is the takeaway for an audience hearing about something big that God has done over 40 years, the takeaway is simply this. If God did it through Paul and Jan Crouch and a simple Crouch family, he can do, he can do it for you. See, there's nothing special about Paul and Jan Crouch except their obedience. So the very first picture, if you are a movie director, and Lori and I spent some of our time in Hollywood, we've produced some films and, that were, were released in, in theaters, but you know, the very first picture of the book had to be kind of your opening scene. What is the opening scene of TBN? It was a picture that we selected of my mom and dad on their knees praying. Mm. So how do you fulfill a life of purpose and destiny beyond your wildest dreams? Get on your knees, mm. understand where God is going to give you that confidence to believe that when you take a step, he's with you. That's all that matters. Yeah. And so, you know, the fact that TBN 
is 88 satellite transponders, 28 television networks in 11 languages around the world, and you know, literally billions of people that can view it uh, in multiple languages is simply something that my mom and dad had confidence that God would be with them. He never gives you the, the, the vision, you know, complete vision at the beginning. It'd scare everybody to death and you'd all <laughs> jump out windows. Yeah. You know, so ultimately, you know, you know Bishop Charles Blake, a, a dear friend of the TBN family, said it this way one time, if your vision isn't big enough, he'll diminish your resources so that he'll get the glory. Wow. And that's what the story of TBN should be the takeaway. If you leaf through this 40-year book and see what God did along the way, it is simply proof that God can do it for anyone. Yes. Every person, every young person that's in this audience, every person watching now has a desire, a dream, a vision, something they want to accomplish. A lot of times it's in the arts. I want to be you know, a singer. I want to be a Broadway. I want to write Broadway plays. I want to do movies. I want to do this. Mm. I want to be an evangelist. I want to travel. I want to be a missionary. I want to have a big boat that people come on and we travel and do missions, medical missions. And everyone's got a, got a dream and a vision. God made us that way. And looking at the size, the scope, and the scale of TBN as accomplished through two simple broken vessels, Paul and Jan Crowd, it just means it can happen for anybody. Yeah. Wow, you know, I was, I was teaching on Sunday to the church about how that we're to be like Jesus and we're to be conformed into His image. We're to become, we're not God, we're to become, you know, we are created in His likeness and image from one degree of glory to the other. And I started reading, I thought, this exact thing, we've, we think so small. Mm -hmm. And I think when our, when our life ends and we look at what we could have done for Him, we go, oh, yeah. so let's figure this out now and just go shoot so big you could never hit it on your own. Absolutely. Then you need God. Shoot for the stars, you might hit the top of the mountain. If you shoot for the top of the mountain, you're going to hit a telephone pole. <laughs> so, you know, just yeah. do what God, it, you know. Did you just it, make that up? Uh, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I, don't, uh, <laughs> I never know what I'm going to say. But, you know, ultimately, the, the idea that we just go for it. If you had ever wanted to be in the food, you know, kind of ministry and shelter and all that, go get a can of food from your, you know, yeah. cupboard. Walk out till you find someone that needs it. Hand it to them. You're in the food ministry. Just get after it. So good. You know, and... Well, and I think people are waiting, a lot of people are waiting for that special moment where someone funds their idea or a big open door, you that's know, and, and that's not normally the way it, it never happens. never happened for us. It always way. happens with that first step and God requires that come, <laughs> you know, come to me, get on your faith glasses and let's move, you know, and so it always takes that first step and it takes every generation. Joshua says, that God requires every generation to live by faith. And so, so even though, you know, you're, you're handed something, well, it takes a step of faith to go ahead and step into that. But like he said, it's so simple. We all have in our hand what God has uh, requires. Yeah. We already have it. And that might just be a simple yes, yeah. you know. And uh, Acting to, to on fulfill. Acting faith yeah. is agreeing with what's God. already inside of you. You know, That's just true. get after it and go do it. You know, God can't can. steer a parked car. Mm -hmm. No. It has to be moving before you can steer it. And so ultimately, we sit back and think something's going to happen to us yeah. rather than through us. Hope is thinking, you know, the faith, you know, hope ultimately is like something's going to happen to you. Mm -hmm. Faith means something's going to happen through you. So go step mm -hmm. out and That's go good. do something Very and good. get after it, yeah. you know? Yep. And, and so it doesn't work out, go do something else, you know? I mean, ultimately you can't be in, in you know, uh, Joyce Meyer's uh, number one book, Battlefield of the Mind, ultimately do it afraid. Man. Beautiful. Thank you guys. Man, thank Thanks you. for being on the program, this has been awesome. Yay. All right, we'll be right back. Oh, Canada. <laughs>
Devoted, a daily devotional created with you in mind. Easy to read and simple to understand. These two-minute faith boosters are available in eight different languages. Watch it on YouTube or have the booklet sent directly to your home. You can also receive Devoted to your email inbox daily. Become inspired as Leon Fontaine shares practical biblical teaching. Devoted is literally at your fingertips. Transform your life with this Spirit Contemporary devotional. Sign up to receive Devoted today. What an amazing couple, what an amazing family. To see what one generation can do to build a platform like TBN that is touching the world, every continent, every nation. And to hear their passion to increase, go further, go beyond, and to see kind of behind the scenes. Today you had a chance to take a look at uh, a couple who are in love with each other, in love with Jesus, and want to just see His name lifted up, His name glorified. Be praying for the Crouches, be praying for TBN, and be believing with us that the greatest season is still ahead of winning souls and seeing a harvest like we have never seen before in the history of the world. God bless you. We trust that you are being blessed, uplifted, and encouraged in your Christian walk through today's program. As a viewer, you should know that we care about you. We value you greatly and appreciate your prayers. Did you know that Miracle Channel is taking the good news of Jesus Christ around the world through award-winning programs like this? We are actively translating ministry programs into languages like Spanish, French, Italian, and even Russian. We even air on television stations in the Middle East. This means that millions upon millions of people are hearing about Jesus Christ in their language, and it's all thanks to people like you. Considerable expenses are involved, so we need your support, because each person who gives their life to Jesus is absolutely worth the cost. Each is of infinite value to God. You are very important to us. We care greatly about your spiritual growth which is why we would like to get today's resources into your hands. When you support this program by making a donation, you are not only enriching your walk with the Lord, you are sharing Jesus with someone on the other side of the globe. Your donation transforms lives by reaching literally millions of people with the gospel. Call now and change someone's life today. Don't miss an awesome show on Monday. Author Scott Anderson joins Leon in studio for a thoughtful discussion on the millionaire mindset. Give for every good work out of my abundance. See, it's not out of my lack, it's not out of my just enough. Can you imagine what the church could do if it was filled with millionaires and billionaires?